Tesla Semi was once mocked and labeled Tesla's slowest moving project. Today it is entering a golden era. The plan is to produce 50,000 electric trucks at the new Giga factory, achieving an unprecedented pace of one Tesla Semi every 10 minutes, a feat never before seen in the industry. According to the latest updates, in addition to the 32 Tesla Semis that underwent testing two weeks ago, recent videos shared by Tesla fans reveal 21 brand new Tesla Semis outside the Semi factory at 550 Milan, Nevada, US. These trucks feature a completely redesigned cabin made of steel, complemented by fiberglass panels. Nearby, 12 carefully packaged blue cargo bundles sit on pallets, believed to be unfinished Tesla Semi prototypes destined for Giga Berlin to complete the final stages of production. So, what exactly does the new Tesla Semi look like? And why does Tesla keep it so tightly under wraps? What secrets about this groundbreaking truck are we still in the dark about? Welcome to the Tesla car world. Stay with us. In just one minute, you'll see never-before-seen footage of the new Tesla Semi design. And join over 258,386 Tesla fans who get updates here before the media does. Subscribe today. The world might assume that an electric truck like the Semi would come with a sky-high price tag, at least half a million dollars, because it demands a massive battery and technology capable of enduring thousands of miles on the open road. Yet once again, Elon Musk drops a number that challenges the entire trucking industry, a base price of just $150,000, far lower than the operating and maintenance costs of a traditional diesel truck. This isn't just a price, it's a declaration. We're not just building electric trucks, we're redefining the entire road freight economy. So, what makes the Tesla Semi truly special? And why is Elon Musk so boldly confident? Can an electric truck weighing tens of tons really handle long-haul journeys without running out of battery on the highway? And more importantly, how exactly can the Semi help businesses save millions of dollars in fuel costs every single year? If the Semi truly performs as Elon Musk promises, the global trucking industry is in for a seismic shift. According to the latest video from Zangler, a longtime Tesla Semi supporter, at the experimental production line at 550 Milan, Nevada. At the east side of the test production line, quite a few Tesla semis are being staged. Beyond the vehicles currently used for transporting components, we counted around 12 brand new semis in this area. We can also see several panels stored nearby, both high and low, ready to be mounted onto the upper portion of the base cabin. The cabin itself is made of steel, while the panels are fiberglass, likely secured with bolts. We can't say for sure on that last part, as it falls into the realm of technical expertise. Along the north side of Milan Avenue, toward the northwest of the building, there are numerous massive blue cargo bundles carefully wrapped. This immediately brings to mind a detail from a few weeks ago, when prototype Tesla semis were wrapped and placed on pallets, with detailed information and specifications noted alongside. According to insights from Tesla enthusiasts and industry watchers, these recently wrapped and palletized units are very likely incomplete prototype versions of the Tesla Semi, prepared for overseas shipment, potentially to Giga Berlin. This interpretation is highly plausible. Elon Musk has previously emphasized that Europe could be the next major market for the Tesla Semi. Entering this region, however, requires more than simple export. Vehicles must be adapted to European regulatory, safety, and operational standards which often differ significantly from those in North America. From a strategic standpoint, sending prototype units to Berlin aligns with Tesla's broader approach. Rather than shipping fully finished vehicles, Tesla benefits from final stage assembly in Europe, which allows for design adjustments tailored to EU requirements. Faster regulatory validation, since prototypes assembled and tested locally demonstrate Tesla's commitment to compliance. Market readiness, ensuring that when Tesla Semi launches in Europe, it reflects the operational realities of European fleets, such as road dimensions, load limits, and charging infrastructure. In this context, the decision to wrap and ship partially completed semis is not only logical, but also strategically sound. It positions Tesla to accelerate its entry into the European market, while building the necessary groundwork for future localized production and scaling at Giga Berlin. Those are the latest updates on Tesla Semi production. If there's any information you'd like us to cover, leave a comment below and we'll respond in our next video. Now let's take a step back and ask, 
Why is Elon Musk so relentlessly committed to the Tesla Semi? And how does Elon Musk describe the design of the Tesla Semi? To be honest, we need to look at this with clear eyes. A truck that can travel nearly 500 miles on a single charge costs less than 1.55 kilowatt hour per mile and requires no oil changes, no gearbox maintenance, no air filter replacements that translates into massive annual savings for millions of businesses. For logistics companies that survive on razor-thin margins of 2 to 3 percent, this provides much needed breathing room, and it could trigger a massive race toward electrifying fleets, completely transforming the global logistics landscape. But it would be unfair to only highlight the positives. The semi also faces certain challenges. First, battery weight. To achieve a range of 500 miles, the battery pack must be enormous and heavy, which can reduce the actual cargo capacity compared to a diesel truck. For companies calculating every kilogram of load, this is not something to overlook. Second, charging infrastructure. Elon Musk is actively expanding the mega charger network, but rolling it out globally will take time, money, and cooperation from governments. In the early stages, not every route will have chargers powerful enough for the semi to perform at its full potential, and most importantly, cost, with a price tag of $150,000 to $180,000, the semi is still significantly more expensive than conventional diesel trucks. Small businesses may hesitate at the upfront investment even if long-term operating costs are lower. However, these drawbacks are largely transitional issues, challenges in the first few years rather than permanent barriers. Tesla holds a suite of advanced battery technologies from 2170 and 4680 to LFP, and most recently, aluminum ion batteries. Boasting high energy density and lower costs, these batteries are constantly being improved to become lighter and cheaper. Charging infrastructure will expand as demand grows, and costs will decrease as Tesla ramps up production in 2026. If you think a massive electric truck like the Tesla Semi is simply a diesel truck with extra batteries, think again. Elon Musk never settles for the ordinary. The Semi has been redesigned from the ground up with a philosophy. Minimize operating costs while maximizing performance to levels that competitors can only dream of. First comes the enormous battery, the heart of the semi. Instead of relying on expensive battery packs, like other manufacturers, Tesla developed the 4680 generation right at Giga Texas. This battery offers extremely high energy density, reduces production costs by up to 56%, and is particularly easy to scale. As a result, the battery cost the biggest headache in the electric trucking industry, has been effectively crushed right on the production line by Musk's strategy. They are really excited to learn more about version 2 of the Tesla Semi. Beyond the headlight upgrades, Dan Priestley confirmed that a few other components will also be refreshed. He mentioned last month that they now have a new HP battery, which incorporates their latest and most advanced technology. This battery is cheaper to manufacture, and the best part is that even though it has less energy than the batteries in their current pilot production vehicles, it still maintains the same range, thanks to efficiency improvements, which are now exceeding 7%. On top of that, Tesla's own high-capacity charging stations make a huge difference. While competitors are still struggling with slow-sipping chargers for electric trucks, the Semi can regain 70% of its battery in just 30 minutes enough to travel hundreds of miles. This is a knockout blow for anyone doubting the Semi's long-haul capabilities. So what makes Elon Musk confident that the Semi is not just a truck, but the starting point for a global logistics revolution? And why does he boldly claim that every freight company, from the US to China, will have to rethink their business model once the Semi arrives? Let's dive into how is Tesla Semi Gen 2 being produced? From the very moment he became CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk shook the world with the declaration that Tesla would not just be an electric car manufacturer, but a pioneering technology company set to transform the entire global transportation industry. What the rest of the world called crazy or impossible, Musk vowed to accomplish, even if it meant defying norms that had stood for centuries. Most people are thrilled by the prospect of the semi-saving millions in fuel costs, reducing carbon dioxide emissions, and ushering in a new era of clean transportation. Yet, on the flip side, there are serious concerns. A truck, 
weighing tens of tons powered entirely by batteries. Can it be safe, durable, and capable of operating on long-haul cross-country routes? If an electric truck breaks down on the highway, the consequences go beyond delayed shipments. It could become a traffic catastrophe. That's why Elon Musk has to prove that the semi is not just a bold idea, but an absolutely reliable machine, meeting safety and performance standards that even traditional truck manufacturers have never achieved. This is why Giga Nevada and Giga Texas were chosen as the centers for semi development, two factories equipped with the most advanced battery and manufacturing technologies in the world. Giga Texas, also the birthplace of Tesla's full self-driving system, has been standardized for products demanding near-perfect safety. And the Semi is the next proof of that commitment. According to engineers involved in the project, the Semi shares much of its technology platform with high-performance models, like the Tesla Model S Plaid and Roadster, vehicles that have already set records for power and acceleration. The only difference, the Semi has to achieve comparable performance while hauling a full 40 tons of cargo. This is a challenge no other truck manufacturer in the world has ever overcome. At first glance, the Tesla Semi might look like a conventional truck, but it is anything but ordinary. The first thing that strikes you is its unusual aerodynamic design. A rounded front, an enormous windshield seamlessly wrapping around the cabin, giving the impression of a spaceship cockpit rather than a truck. This is not for aesthetics alone. It reduces the drag coefficient to just 0.36 drag coefficient, even lower than a Bugatti Chiron, 0.38 drag coefficient. In the trucking world, where faces are typically bulky, square blocks, this is a daring leap forward. The Semi's cabin also features some design choices that spark debate. The driver's seat is positioned in the center, completely different from traditional layouts. This offers an impressive panoramic view and reduces blind spots, but it may take some veteran drivers time to adjust. Additionally, Stepping into the elevated cabin and the absence of conventional side mirrors, replaced by cameras, is a novel approach. While some see this as progress, others may find it uncomfortable at first. The semi's dimensions are equally striking, over 20 feet long and nearly 13 feet high, with a minimalist chassis that maximizes space for the battery pack and drivetrain. Tesla has not officially disclosed the total weight, but many estimates suggest the massive battery makes the semi significantly heavier than diesel trucks in the same class. This is a minor drawback. Cargo capacity may drop by a few percent compared to traditional standards. However, Elon Musk asserts that the savings on fuel and maintenance will more than compensate over the long term. A notable feature, the semi is powered by four independent electric motors directly mounted on the two rear axles, unlike competitors that typically use just one or two motors. This configuration allows the Semi to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 20 seconds, even at full load, a feat no diesel truck can match. Yet it raises interesting questions. Could having so many independent motors lead to higher maintenance costs? Tesla has not disclosed specifics, leaving many in the transport industry curious. By comparison, a typical diesel long-haul truck can cover 1,000 to 1,200 km on a full tank. The Semi, with its largest battery pack, is rated for 800 kilometers under real-world conditions. An impressive figure, yet still 20 to 30 percent shorter than diesel. This means that on exceptionally long routes, drivers will need to stop for a quick charge. While Tesla's Mega Charger can restore 70 percent of the battery in just 30 minutes, this still represents a new routine that drivers and fleet operators will need to adapt to. The mysterious aspect of the Semi lies in its battery weight. Tesla has not disclosed the specifics, but if the battery capacity exceeds 1 megawatt hour, as many experts predict, it could be the largest battery pack ever installed on a commercial vehicle. So how has Tesla prevented the Semi from becoming an electric behemoth? Some believe the secret lies in the high energy density 4,680 cells combined with a lightweight composite body frame. However, Tesla has yet to confirm the official answer. One of the standout features that makes the Tesla Semi so remarkable is its battery system, a strategic weapon across Tesla's entire ecosystem. While traditional diesel trucks rely entirely on fossil fuels, the Semi offers a fully electric operation model, 
drastically cutting long-term fuel costs and reducing emissions, something conventional freight vehicles simply cannot match. Yet battery technology for a heavy-duty truck is far from simple. The biggest challenge is balancing battery capacity with vehicle weight. An overly large battery makes the truck heavy, affecting uphill performance, reducing range, and increasing charging time. Conversely, a smaller battery cannot provide enough energy for long-haul journeys, especially across interstate or cross-country routes. This is a problem every manufacturer of heavy-duty electric trucks faces, and Tesla is no exception. The Tesla Semi tackles this challenge by employing the 4680 battery technology, a new type of cell with extremely high energy density, capable of storing more electricity without adding excessive weight. Thanks to this, the Semi can travel up to 500 miles on a single charge, a range sufficient to cover most major road freight routes in the U.S. This means companies can significantly reduce refueling downtime, a critical factor in the logistics industry. Interestingly, despite housing such a massive battery, the Semi is not overly expensive to operate. In fact, Tesla has estimated that a Semi could save over $200,000 in fuel costs over its lifetime compared to a diesel truck. This represents a huge advantage for transportation companies that constantly grapple with fluctuating fuel prices. To understand just how exceptional the Semi is, compare it with current electric truck prototypes from Daimler, Volvo, or Nikola. Most of these trucks can only manage a few hundred kilometers under light loads, and their battery and operating costs remain prohibitively high. In contrast, Elon Musk has set the goal for the Semi to travel nearly 500 miles on a single charge, operating at costs significantly lower than a diesel truck, a direct challenge to the global road freight industry. Before diving into the details of the Tesla Semi's design and performance, Let's take a look back at the efforts of the world's largest truck manufacturers to see why many once considered electric trucks little more than green PR stunts until Elon Musk entered the game. Over the years, many giants in the transportation industry have experimented with the idea of electric trucks. Daimler, Volvo, and even Nikola have released prototypes that drew attention. However, if you really listen to the voices of logistics companies, you'll hear a completely different story. These trucks are still not sufficient to replace traditional diesel trucks. Let's start with the Daimler E-Actros. The electric truck that the German automaker proudly calls a step into the future. The problem is, the E-Actros can only travel around 300 kilometers on a single charge, and that's under ideal conditions. Light loads, no steep hills, and no overnight runs. With this limitation, it's only suitable for urban deliveries or short hauls. Long distance or cross-country transport is entirely out of reach. So with a base price at just $150,000, could this bold move truly redefine the global freight economy, or is it still too expensive for smaller trucking companies? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.